What's going on guys? My name's Alex and welcome back to my channel. And today we are talking about some tips and tricks when trying to buy a used uh, camping shell for your pickup truck. So this is my camping setup, super light right now. Um, I really haven't packed with much gear at all because I'm still just camping one night at a time, maybe two nights here and there. More importantly, what we're talking about today, why did I choose this camping shell for my truck. So for starters, this is a 2018 Lear Canopy flush with the cab, which is exactly what I wanted because I wanted that stealth kind of look. Now, as I have mentioned before, this is my second time doing a truck camper setup. And the first time I did it is when I went to Newfoundland for three weeks and lived out of the truck. And I was on a super tight budget. So I picked up like a $200 topper I think it was for like a 2000 and a mid 2000s Ford um, and it kind of fit. It really didn't, but it kind of fit. And you run into a lot of difficulties with a truck camper that is not built for the make and model of your truck. And so that brings me nicely to my first tip. Try and really make sure you buy a camping shell that is actually meant for your make and model um, for your truck, especially when it comes to newer trucks, because um, their beds and tailgates seem to be just getting more and more unique to the specific truck. It's no longer just a rectangle shape that any kind of topper can fit. Um, like I said, when I went to Newfoundland, I dealt with that every single night it rained, which was a lot. Um, Again, especially with these newer trucks, if you don't have the right maker model of, of camper shell, you're gonna, it's not gonna seal properly. You could be rubbing against the cab, you could be rubbing against the side of the bed, or you could be rubbing against the tailgate. And most importantly, um, I know security is probably a concern to a lot of folks. With a camping shell that's not meant for the make and model of your truck, there's a really strong possibility that it, the the, ta the tailgate or the back of the topper won't close properly, let alone even the lock mechanism working. So let me just explain to you what I mean by that. If I put this tailgate up, you can see, hopefully, that it is really not square. It's kind of got this weird bowed shape. And a lot of trucks, especially new trucks, each kind of have their own bowed -ish shape here. That's for aerodynamics. That's the reason, but that means that you kind of have to have really specific and special closing um, toppers because you can see, like, see how this is kind of dug out here? And it's a little bit of an indent. And just even the angle of the door closing is specific to each truck. So, again, it's not the end of the world if you can't get a matching um, topper for the make and model of your truck but these are the things you're going to be dealing with. Some of the older trucks, when you start getting, you know, back into the 90s and early 2000s, their boxes tend to be more traditionally just square and rectangle. So you might be able to get away with that a little more often. But with these newer trucks, just be careful because um, you're going to run into those kind of issues. Um, the last thing I'll say about the make and model of these um, toppers, and I know firsthand because I own a Ram, if you guys own a ramp and you're thinking about buying a camper shell for your truck, keep this in mind. I have the 6'4 bed, obviously right here, and then I have the quad cab. Now, if I had the crew cab, technically, um, I would have to have a different topper setup, even though the bed lengths were exactly the same. Reason being is because I guess the crew cab the actual cab is shaped slightly differently. And if you guys can see, see how tight the fitting is up here. So if I had the crew cab, I guess this would actually probably would hit the cab. And if I moved it back far enough, it actually wouldn't seal in the front. So um, you Ram guys, just be very careful when you're looking at a used topper because there is a difference between the crew cab and quad cab, even if you have the same size bed. So tip number two, try and get a carpeted liner topper. Um, these things are awesome. They just, well, they help to insulate first of all, 
Uh, second of all, if you're in a colder climate, when you're sleeping at night, odds are you're gonna have lots of condensation in here. And this just helps to keep the condensation from actually forming like droplets and then dripping on you in the middle of the night. So there's that too. Also, you can buy Velcro strips and they will just stick to the roof, to the sides, and you can kind of hang anything that you really want. And lastly, it does kind of detonate some of the sound and it keeps things a little more quiet. I don't know, just an all around good um, thing to have and really look out for it. Another thing to consider when looking at buying a new or used um, camper shell is the heights of the campers. There's usually, it usually comes in three options. You have your, um, your low rise, which is flush with the cab. You have your mid rise and then your high rise um, style of camping shell. Obviously I want the low rise, flush with the cab, just much more stealth and it's exactly what I wanted. I see a lot of people out there going with the mid-rise um, camping shell, which is probably, I don't know, maybe, oh, look at me, I'm short. I'm super short, guys, but uh, <laughs> let's see if I can reach up here. Yeah, so it's probably about six inches higher. It just kind of pokes out over the cab, but those six inches, you know, give you just so much more headroom um, in terms of doing just everyday activities, in terms of cooking, you know, rolling around, putting clothes on it makes a big difference but they tend to be a little bit more expensive so just keep that into consideration and then obviously the last option is the high-rise topper which I'm sure you guys have all seen uh, much more like a construction look in my opinion and much less of a stealthy look um, but if you guys aren't looking to do any stealth camping and you're just pure looking for convenience not a bad option you can fit a lot of stuff in there you can even make like upper shelves so you know that's a cool option to think about if you guys think this isn't enough room well maybe you guys think about getting a high rise topper and adding you know kind of like an upper level to the camper which i think is cool so there you go guys as we were just talking about headroom you know there's not even on my knees i have to kind of bend my neck and just to fit in here but again something for you guys to consider my next tip about buying a specially used um, camping shells is try and make sure to get some working windows because <sighs> ah. oh, finally, I promise they do work. See, um, yeah, try and get some working windows because like I just mentioned the condensation issue, if you can crack a window or two, it'll help solve that problem a lot. Um, and it's not even just dripping, having condensation dripping you, it's your clothes get all wet and your sleeping bag gets wet and then you gotta dry it out. And so having a topper where the windows can open is a big plus, especially when it comes to looking at used, because I know Again, when I bought my first used one, didn't even check the windows if they opened or not. I just assumed they did. Um, and it turns out, no. Oh, again, guys, headroom. <laughs> but it's what I wanted. I swear it's what I wanted. Oh. <laughs> no, it's actually, it's actually what I wanted. Don't worry. It's good for me. Practice my yoga. Another good thing to consider, guys, is whether or not your topper comes equipped with uh, roof racks. I know that may seem obvious, but most of the time it's not because what I found looking for campers is that a lot of guys have the roof rack slots. So just pre-drilled roof rack um, slots that go up and down the topper, but they don't actually have any roof rack or they don't actually have the roof rack mounting hardware installed. So sometimes it can go unnoticed. Um, so always check for that because that is a huge plus Kind of goes away with that stealth camping look, more of an overland look, but whatever. The last thing I'll talk about is the color of your topper. I know it's a lot, it's a sticking point for a lot of people, and it, and it was for me too. I swore up and down if I was going to spend the money I spent on a used topper, I was going to get the color I wanted. Obviously, it is not the color of my truck. So, what happened? Um, you know what, I put function over 
um, looks. This was almost a brand new topper. Market price for this is like almost three grand Canadian. I ended up paying a thousand dollars even for it for a year old topper. And yes, it's not black, but I figured for what it is, um, I could suffer with it not being color matched. And apparently if I go to like the Lear dealer, they can paint it for me from anywhere from like three to $400. So maybe I'll cross that bridge one day, but at the end of the day, color isn't the most important thing. Try and pick a topper that's gonna fit the make and model of your truck, like I said so many times, because it'll prevent leaking, it'll seal properly, and you'll just feel more secure in it. But uh, I did live out of my truck for almost a month in Newfoundland, and that was awesome, even with a crappy topper. So I'm really hoping to, you know, push the boundaries further with this um, luxury thousand dollar topper. But most importantly, if you liked the video, throw me a thumbs up. Let's be know that I'm doing a good job and does help me in the long run. And if you like stuff like this, off-roading, stealth camping, off-road camping, maybe stick around, maybe think about subscribing. That would be awesome. But that's gonna be it for today, guys. And we will hopefully see you in the next video.